today we are very happy having received Mr. Moyen in Nairobi, SGR Standard Gauge Railway Terminals in Nairobi, Kenya. He took that trip from Mombasa to Nairobi and he really enjoyed it. He interacted with uh, quite a number of few Kenyans that he had a chance to. And what his comments were, he enjoyed seeing outside the activities and the Kenyan people at their works, the nature, landscape, and a variety of things that are quite interesting for him along the journey. Uh, he's been in Kenya for two weeks and today he marks his last. So he visited uh, Masai Mara, Nairobi, Lake Nakuru, and then went to the Kenyan coast for relaxation. And all this, he says, was a wonderful experience. He has a different notion when, before he visited uh, Kenya. But after visiting, he says, for sure, he's going to come back again and really go delve into a bit of culture, uh, landscape, awareness of what Kenya has to offer that he, he, so that he can be able to go into it more. He's keen on nature, he's keen on meeting the Kenyan people, understanding the culture. And based on his visit, he's really satisfied. He's going to do quite a number of pieces of his experience that he's going to share publicly to the Chinese audience. And he's thrilled with that because he's actually looking forward to come back uh, to Kenya. Uh, Napulo 不要担心被动物伤着for Mr. Moyan, we want to say thank you. He is a Nobel Peace Laureate in literature. He sees things and the world differently and he tells beautiful and great stories from his wonderful perspective. And we want the same from the Kenya perspective in terms of tour travel and tourism of what he wants. China is a big market. We are looking at growing our rivals from the Chinese market. Uh, so far, they love the wilderness migration, uh, but we want to tell the Chinese audience and our travelers that Kenya is much more than the migration. Kenya is a year-round destination for which we welcome them to visit. They will have wonderful experiences, be it nature and wildlife, uh, pristine and beautiful beaches for relaxation, uh, really diverse culture. 
um, and uh, quite a number of adventure experiences for which they can be able to enjoy in Kenya. Kenya is a destination that offers authentic experiences that are also diverse in nature and speaking to various interested. And the beauty is it's within a compact country. Within about one and a half, hour, one and a half hours, a tourist can be in any part of Kenya uh, from Nairobi, which is a hub for tourism, for travel, for finance and technology, and trade in the region. We say thank you and we welcome all the Chinese travelers uh, to consider Kenya for their next visit. Asante, Karibu Sana.